Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of Mozilla Firefox, version 140, which rolled out slightly earlier today on the 24th of June. So as always, to double check, we have the latest release. We head to our main menu, help about Firefox. Version and build is sitting on 140.0 after the update has been applied. Now, before we have a look at the security fixes and the new features, just to let you know, that Firefox 140 is also the new extended support release ESR, meaning it is a new base for the extended support releases and it will replace version 128 soon and Firefox, just take note, 115.25 ESR is still maintained for earlier operating system versions. Now focusing quickly on the security fixes that have rolled out, we get 13 security fixes and two of those security fixes are addressing high impact vulnerabilities, which is ranked just below critical. And the high impact vulnerabilities, the first one is listed as use after free in font face set. And the second high impact is listed as memory safety bugs fixed in this version release of the browser. So 13 security fixes have rolled out in total. Now, just to focus on the new features and improvements that have rolled out, we have a couple for version 140. And the first improvement is for vertical tabs. With Mozilla saying you can now keep more or fewer pin tabs in view for quicker access. So if we just pin one or two of these tabs, With Mozilla saying, you just drag the divider to resize your pinned tabs section. And I actually think this is a nice move. So if you want to see more pinned tabs, you just drag the divider to resize your pinned tabs section. So if you are using that feature, that could be a nice move in the right direction. Now the next new improvement is we get custom search engines where Firefox now supports adding more search engines. So to add a custom engine, what you would do is you would just right click a search field of a supported website and select add search engine. And you can add that search engine. So custom search engines is number two on the list. And for Firefox extensions, you are able now to customize the toolbar with the option to remove the extension shortcut. And I have posted on this previously when it was still in preview. So what you would do is you just right click, remove from toolbar, which previously was not the case. You can see it says move to menu. And if you want to pop it back on the toolbar, you just head to your menu, click on extensions, and you would right click once again and always show in toolbar. And I think that's a nice move. And here's a nice um, improvement that has rolled out. You can now unload tabs by right-clicking on a tab or multiple selected tabs and selecting unload tab. So just to demonstrate, right-click, unload tab. You can see now that's grayed out. And Mozilla says this can speed up performance by reducing Firefox's memory and CPU usage. But just take note though, when you click again on that unloaded tab, it takes a second or two to populate once again because obviously that's freed up a lot of resources. So you can unload tab and you can reload tab. You can do it two ways. And I think that's a nice move in the right direction. Now I'm just going to mention the next uh, three improvements where Firefox 140 introduces a change for translated full page contents. So what used to happen was the browser used to translate the entire page by default. When you selected the translate option, now Firefox will focus on the visible text, which according to Mozilla should speed up the translation process significantly. And the next is Mozilla says Firefox builds in Arabic 
now come with a built-in Arabic dictionary for the Firefox spell checker. So that's region specific. And address autofill is enabled for users now in Italy, Poland, and Austria. And just to mention the last one for the purpose of this video, the pocket toolbar icon, as well as the pocket integrations on new tab have been removed per the service shutdown announcement. And I have posted a video on that where Mozilla is deprecating pocket. Um, and this obviously is the start of that. So guys, that's more or less what's new in Firefox 140, which rolled out slightly earlier today on the 24th of June. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.